A Mom for You Monday by Mariah Falcone, illustrated by Susan Kathleen Hartung. A Mom for You Monday by Mariah Falcone, illustrated by Susan Kathleen Hartung. For my children, Kristen and Ryan, with love, MF. For mom and dad, SKH. On a cold winter's night, Dizzy was quiet. The visitors have gone home. In the darkness of the Cheyenne Mountain Zoo, a baby gorilla is born. His name is Umande, which means swirling mist in Swahili. Yumande is wet and trembling. He cries as if to say, will you hold me? But Quisha, his mother, doesn't. Several other gorillas come near him, but no one picks him up. One of the keepers, Mandy, brings Yumande to a nursery where she and the veterinarian take turns clutching him to their chest and wrapping blankets around him. They even give him sugar water from a bottle. When he stops shivering, Mandy sets Yumande back in the habitat. He wiggles in a mound of sweet hay, smelling the musky odor of the other gorillas, waiting for someone to pick him up. But nobody does. Yumande spends the night in the nursery. During the day, two more keepers, Heidi and Debbie, take turns holding him up to a mesh wall, separating him from the gorilla area. The other gorillas sniff him and lick him, especially Quisha, his mother. She even comes when he cries, but when he's put in the area with her, she doesn't pick him up. Quisha's too young. She's never seen another baby gorilla. And she doesn't know what Yumande needs. So the keepers act as Yumande's mom. 24 hours a day, 7 days a week, they teach him to be a gorilla. Every day, Debbie takes him to a small habitat. She walks on her hands and knees like his mother would and carries him on her chest. He has to hold on tight to keep from falling. She grooms him by removing imaginary dirt and bugs from his fur, his eyes, and even his nose. When Yumande cuts his first tooth, Heidi sits him on her lap and gives him bits of corn and apple. She drops crumbs on her lap and he eats them. She teaches him to make gorilla sounds. When she's happy with him, she makes happy grumbles, which sound like purrs. When he's naughty and bites too hard, she coughs in his face. If he doesn't learn good gorilla manners, he could get hurt when he joins the other gorillas. At night, Yumande sleeps cuddled on Heidi's stomach or nestled against her side. She's warm and soft, but she's not his mother. When the other gorillas are outside, Debbie takes Yumande into the big gorilla habitat. She carries him on her back up ropes on two log platforms. Sometimes she hangs her hand down for him to grab. Almost everything goes in his mouth. Yumande's favorite game is Chase. He tags Debbie and runs away, as if to say, Are you coming? When she tickles him on his tummy, he throws his head back, closes his eyes, and falls backward in the hay. Yumande is happy at the zoo, but something is missing. When Yumande is almost seven months old, Heidi gives the gorillas who have shown the most interest in him one last chance to be his mom. 
When it's Quisha's turn, Yumande chases after her. Instead of picking him up, she swings him round and round. Quisha wants a playmate, but Yumande needs a mom. When Yumande spends time with Rafiki, his dad, he's gentle and touches Yumande nose to nose. But as head of his troop, Rafiki's job is to protect all the females. He's too concerned about them to take care of a baby gorilla. So the keepers have to come up with a plan. When Yamada is eight months old, Heidi and Debbie bundle him up to take him away on an airplane. They pack formula, towels, sweet potatoes and greens, dog toys, and his favorite blankets. Yamada sits on Heidi's lap and peeks out the window. After flying all morning, they then travel in a van to the Columbus Zoo and Aquarium. Heidi and Debbie take Yumande to a special area with lots of hay, mesh walls, and climbing ropes. His new home smells just like his old one, but will he find my mom here? A gorilla named Lulu is in a habitat two over from Yumande's. The minute they see each other, they speak in a language all their own, full of quite happy grumbles. Yumande has to be separated from the other gorillas to allow Yumande time to get acquainted with his new home. But every day, he goes to the mesh with Barb, his new keeper, and looks at Lulu. Then, after two weeks, he and Barb move into an area next to Lulu. Yumande and Lulu touch fingers through the mesh. They even build nests across from each other. But they can't be together yet. Finally, after four weeks, Lulu and Yumande are put in the same habitat. They touch and smell each other. Lulu, being a very experienced mom, picks him up carefully. They play peekaboo games under the blankets. They play with boxes. When Barb walks by, Lulu scoops Yumande up and shows him off. When it's time to eat, Yumande perches on Lulu's head to take his bottle. After three days, they are never more than an inch apart. Yumande rides on Lulu's back. When she lies down, she sets him on her belly. They laugh the quiet gorilla laugh. At night, when the zoo is quiet and the visitors have gone home, Lulu hangs her hand down and Yumande grabs on. She takes him up to her nest. He curls beside her and they fall asleep together. At last, Yumande has a mom. Read by Amaria, East Elementary, Jefferson City, Missouri, May 2016.